Welcome back to Fun Bench, everybody. As always, it's Eric, and today we're back with 2021-2022 Series 2 Hockey, and we're going to talk about the newly announced Extended Series. So I got a couple no notes about some of the young guns you're looking for. It's not as crazy of a young gun class as what the Series 2 has been, um, but like I said, we'll we'll talk it all over here. So um, if you guys don't know for a hobby box, it's eight cards per pack. There's 24 packs per box. But we're looking for six young guns in this box and then you could get other stuff like clear cuts like exclusives like the high gloss that's out back there uh of that jan yannick so lots of different things to find in this hobby box so i'm gonna knock that over boom i'm just gonna try to push this over to the side a little bit i'm all disorganized this piece of paper as small as it is it is like screwing up my whole setup here but we're gonna figure this out. So here we go, pack one. And as long as we don't hit a young gun, I can kind of talk about this. So extended series has been announced. Uh, the checklist has been announced. And the big young gun that you're looking for uh, in it is probably gonna be Alexander Holtz. Uh, so he's a devil's prospect, just like Dawson Mercer. Um, he was drafted seventh overall in 2020. And he pretty much averaged like a point per game in the AHL last year, so. Uh, we got Ryan Strom, Robbie Fabry, Ryan McDonough, Jake Neighbors. People are really high on him lately. Keep on seeing people looking for him in groups and stuff. So there we go. Uh, after that, you're looking at King's prospect, Alex Chercott. He was drafted fifth overall in 2019. So he's been drafted for a few years now. Uh, he put up uh, 18 points in 27 games last year. I'm assuming he was probably injured uh, down in the AHL. So Hats aren't quite lived up to that fifth overall, uh, you know, draft pedigree. Um, but here we go. Starting off with a, I'm assuming Young Guns canvas. It's for the Ducks. That's not a bad one. Jamie Drysdale. So it's one I don't have. But there we go. I've been looking at more canvas Young Guns, uh, buy and stuff. Just because canvases, if you can get right with some stuff, a lot of times they grade really well. So I've been trying to look at more stuff that I can grade. Uh, I sent off a bunch of stuff to PSA for the $18 submission. I'm assuming they're probably going to have that again. But there we go. Jamie Drysdale. He said, didn't have this one yet. The only thing I find with the young guns for the camps, young guns, and maybe it's just me, but like they're super off left to right. Pretty much all of them. Like every one of them is, is skiing on this side. So the only thing I think you'd have to worry about uh, with that but here we go we'll put this up i think jamie drysdale is a pretty good hit here boom uh yeah so got a couple other guys we're going to talk about i got what i got here 10 guys maybe nine guys in total uh giordano carlo checklist and a tyler mott um so past that we got excess exceptional status himself mr sean day uh, which people some are gonna forget, think you know forget about him because he was 24 years old now, so he is an older young gun in this set, 100%. But a lot of people don't realize like he was allowed to go play in the OHL at a very young age because um, he was supposed to be that good. Is this a no? For a second, I kind of thought that was a clear cut. It's Sam Reinhart with the Panthers. So, um, but he never ended up turning out to be what he was supposed to be. He was drafted in the third round uh, a couple years ago, but. He did get uh, 40 points as a defenseman in the AHL last year in 69 games. So that's not too bad. Maybe he's finally hitting his stride uh, at the ripe old age of 24. Or maybe he's just old enough now that in the AHL uh, he can kind of show off a little bit and, and produce a little bit more. So uh, let's see if we got anything here. Not going to be a young gun again, so we can keep on talking. Uh, next we got Seth Jarvis. So he's for the Hurricanes. Dr. 13th overall. Uh, and he... In, Played in the NHL last year. One of the few guys here. And he had 40 points in 68 games. Boris Kachuk. Um, so, yeah, he had 40 points in 68 games. So, played a you know, chunk of the season uh, in the NHL. But it's th the Hurricanes, I guess, you know, you got Svechnikov, Ajo. There's a couple guys there that sell good. But, uh, and that, obviously, he's got that draft pedigree. To me, a lot of stuff you're looking for, unless the guy ends up being a super, superstar, like a, like a past uh, uh, Kucherov, um, whoever you go with. Is Kucherov drafted high? 
whoever you get, uh, if they weren't like drafted super high, the value is not going to be there long term, especially even like, you know, short term. It's hard to keep the value. Uh, here we go. T- Tom Wilson, PK Subban. We got High Moore, and it's our first one. It's for the Coyotes. This is going to be Ivan Pozvetov. Here we go. Arizona goalie. Not too bad. The upper edge is a little bit. So like I said, I've been looking at more like stuff to grade lately. I think that's kind of the play now. Everybody wants to to try to get the best deal possible, which is fine. I, you know, everyone does. But uh, the only problem you run into there is, and even like eBay, eBay in Canada, like I don't think hockey cards really saw the the dip. In the market because we were still very fortunate in Canada where a lot of the sales are for hockey cards um, that you know we never had to pay tax but you're seeing a huge dip in hockey cards the last month or so that's because eBay is now charging tax so all the comps are gonna go off that because everyone's gonna say okay I live in New Brunswick Nova Scotia Ontario wherever it is I'm paying 13 to 15 percent tax that's a huge change, <laughs> you know, might not be in the, in the smaller cards, but you get into like the Nathan McKinney Young Guns, for example, uh, anything, any of the bigger cards, that's a huge chunk, right? You're talking, uh, you know, for Nathan McKinnon, even if it's a thousand bucks for a Young Gun, you know, you're talking that all of a sudden it's changed in New Brunswick to $1,150. It's $150 difference, right? So uh, Nathan McKinnon, Steven Stamkos, our French variant is another Coyote. Hopefully this is not a Coyote box. Uh, Johan Larson. Uh, French variant, Zabinajad, Pasta, Brock Besser, and Zach Whitecloud. So, um, keeping on going through this whole list, we got, uh, at least it's Seth Jarvis, which is fine, but like I said, he does have that first round draft status, which people like. Uh, we got Lassie Thompson, D Man, uh, Finnish D Man. Pretty sure he's Finnish. I'm pretty sure he's a D Man. Uh, but Lassie Thompson for the Senators. Uh, not the only senator on this list either, by the way. Uh, it was drafted 19th overall, and he had 44 uh, in 44 games. He had 26 points, so not crazy, but he's still young. That makes a big difference, I think. Jason Spezza, Ryan Gatslav, and for the Stars, Jacob Peterson. So there's another young gun. We'll just put Jacob Peterson down there. Bavillier, Carlson, Gagne, and a Robin Leonard. So, uh, yeah, last, Lassie Thompson is another one. Once again, still first round draft status. Uh, plays for a Canadian team, not the biggest one, but it's a chance with the Senators. They're going to keep on going up and up and up if they can play pretty well this year. Um, you know, maybe they get a little bit of excitement around them. Who knows? Why right, these get more of a glossy finish? I keep on thinking there's like a little bit of a clear cut in this. Uh, Sam Steele, Dante Fabro, Owen Tippett, Bowen Byram, and Ryan Pulak and kind of a sweet little media day picture here. Uh, Robert Thomas, Olofsson, and Connor Murphy. Uh, next one was a guy that was going to be, you know, they, at one point Colorado Avalanche fans. We assumed that he would be, you know, just another staple, but obviously he was traded at the trade deadline uh, to the Montreal Canadiens. And that is one Justin Barron, uh, former Halifax Moosehead, all that great stuff. Um, but uh, he's drafted 25th overall. He is going to be in a Colorado Avalanche uniform. I don't know why they didn't just put him in a Montreal Canadiens uniform. Like he had more games for the for Montreal than he did Colorado. Um, so he probably would have had a better uh, sales if he was for you know Montreal. Ilya Samsonov and... <laughs> Why do I keep on pulling Boston Bruins here? Uh, Jack Akin uh, is our hit in the rookie materials. Once again, that will go to the Boston Bruins fan in my life that he gets he gets all of them. Well, pretty lucky kid. Gets all <laughs> pretty much every, every Boston Bruin hit that I've ever hit. Uh, he gets all of them. They all get put aside. So. Um, Past that, uh, we get Matt Murray, Joe Pavelski, Jonathan Quick, and oh, we got a second French variant. Well, that sucks. Uh, that's not that's not the hit you want doubles of. I don't know if I've ever hit two French variants. 
So, anyways, we got Matt Nieto, Nitro as they call him. Um, that just threw me all off getting double Matt Nieto. So, uh, Igor so 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 uh, Sokolov. So he's a big, pretty sure he's Russian. Uh, forward. He's with the Senators. He's drafted 61st overall, so he is that second round. He doesn't quite have that first round pedigree, but he's 22 years old and he put up 50 points in 64 games in the AHL, which is not an easy, you know, thing to do, um, especially when you're younger. We got Matthew Phillips in the marquee rookie, Kirby Doc, Brady Shea, and a Leon Dreisaitl. But he could, you never know. He does have the weirdest skating style. As someone that watched him play in the queue for the uh, Cape Breton Screaming Eagles for Cape Breton Eagles, I guess. I think they got rid of the screaming part of it. But for someone that watched him play, like he just he's all hunched over all the time. Um, but he's a big body. He's like 6'3", 220 or something. He's massive. Uh, we got Flower. Always kind of like that he went with like the retro pads for that. Uh, Igor Shosturkin. But, uh, so he's another one, except we're getting to the nitty gritty here. It's not a whole lot. I literally went and like hockey DB'd all these guys to see like who was a potential. Uh, we got Logan Couture, Braden McNabb, Ryan Hartman, Alexander Barkov, and this is going to be for the Panthers. Not too bad. Uh, Anton Londell. So there we go. This is a pretty good hit. I think he's like 15 bucks right now. 10 to 15 bucks, and I think I got one of him coming to me. Uh, I made a trade with somebody um, on one of the forums, and he ended up getting a uh, Future Watch auto patch of Ole Olevi that you guys would have seen me pull on the channel. So he got that. I got three young guns. Pretty good deal. Always good to do deals. I don't mind doing trades. Obviously, you got to get make sure the person's kind of creditable. Uh, so, you know, always getting, uh, you know, vouches on Facebook pages or wherever they, you kind of linked up with them. Always a good idea. Uh, do not just, and even then, and you still run the risk. But not too bad. Anton Londell. That's, uh, I think he could be a sneaky play for some people. I'll check that card out after and see if there's any, like, damage to it. I can't get this pack open. Maybe it's a special pack with crazy hits. Who knows? Um, we got Sorokin, just got a regular one, Texier, Nita Ryder, Romanov, William Carlson. Uh, we also got for the Buffalo Sabres, um, they got John Pet 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 Petrica. Uh, so he's 20 years old, super young, dropped to 34th overall, so just into that, the start of the second round. Um, and he put up 68 points in 70 games in the AHL last year. It's pretty good. So he also played 12 uh, or 10 games in the playoffs, put up 12 points. It's kind of what you want to see. So he could be a good little building block there. Uh, Buffalo Sabre fans could get excited about that. Got Drew Doughty. Look at the mug on him. <laughs> uh, Dutchie. Barca or Ekblad, Shattenkirk, and a Berkey behind him. So, uh, and then the last base young gun, and I only put it on, so I only put him on the list for one reason, one reason only. It's because I'm wearing his jersey right now. It is a former Moncton Wildcat for like a season and like eight games, 10 games, 12 games, whatever it was. Uh, Gabriel Forche. So, he's for the Lightning. It's again, not going to be a big name for anybody. Casey Middlestack, Connor Hellebuck, Honor Rolf, Tyson Berry, Preco, Tanev, Gabe Velarde, and Balsers. Uh, but he's drafted 59th overall. He's only played in 10 uh, games in the NHL last year, had one point, and uh, played in 72 games down in the AHL, put up 35 points. So, not going to get... Uh, not probably going to get a whole lot of love. He's probably going to be like a couple dollar card. So, which is fine. But I had to include him in the list. I got his audio. I won his autograph jersey at the rank at a game. So, here's my good luck charm. Uh, Andrew Magnapani. Is that for the Red Wings? It is for the Red Wings. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. 
Lucas Raymond. And then behind it, we have the pink Victor Olofsson. So I just sat here and talked on the pink. So the pink's a little bit of a shorter print, I'm pretty sure. I screwed this up every time, but I'm pretty sure the pink's a shorter print. So I think we will be getting a blue still. There we go. Mason or Lucas Raymond. Mason Raymond. Uh, <laughs> Lucas Raymond in the young gun. Get that in there. Let's again check it over. The top edge is where I've kind of seen a lot of it. But overall, it's pretty good. I'll check the centering later. later. Might be a little top heavy. Yeah, probably a little high on the top. But we'll check it over. Maybe something I send out to get graded. Yeah, probably a little bit. Eh, we'll see. But there we go. Uh, we'll take down the Lundell, I guess. We'll take the, yeah, we'll take down the Lundell. And we'll leave up the Drysdale. Kind of our canvas hit. Been up there since the start, so let's keep a little bit of good luck going. Some people have said I got the most ridiculous luck with Series 2. And I will take that. Because as good as I have been with Series 2, you see my SBA breaks. And you can watch them. There's four of them. I think it's four of them. They were not good. They were they were rough. Uh, Austin Matthews, Miko Rantanen. We got another honor roll. Uh, this one's William Eklund. So there we go. Another rookie honor roll. Cam Talbot, Trent Frederick, and a Brandon Hagel. Get these guys out of the way. Um, but yeah, so that's pretty much the the big chase for the actual base young guns. Once again, not a whole lot there. Alexander Holtz. Alex Turcott, maybe Paterka for the Sabres. People could get excited about him in the future. I don't know if he'd sell pretty. I don't think he'd sell really high at the start just because he doesn't have that hype of once again a first early first round pick, right? He doesn't have that that big like status. Um, but he'd probably be like my sleeper out of all of them. Uh, we get Kubel, Gedrikov. And another one of Dullin. So we got our two French young guns, our two French uh, base showing up here. This is this is not too bad though. A Lundell, a Raymond, and a Jamie Drysdale. This is again pretty good. Uh, you guys check out your local hobby shops for these. Well, I say it all the time. If you're looking to rip product, if you are gonna buy a couple blasters from like Walmart or something, just go in to get a hobby box. It's way better. Um, at least you have a better chance at stuff, right? I think that's the way to go, personally. Uh, Philip Hedl, Scott Lawton, and a Mike Hardman for the marquee rookies in the blue. Connor Brown, John Klingberg, he's got a new home, and Anze Kopitar. I said he got a new home because I'm trying to remember. Oh, he went to he went to Anaheim. That'd be a good little pairing back there. You got Jamie Drysdale. Jamie Drysdale can learn a little bit from him. Yeah, that's, that's not bad. Not a bad spot for him to go. I don't know if they're going to compete right away. Probably not, right? But uh, they get, I think they're still a couple pieces away. A couple, you know, another two years away probably. Uh, Poso, Jonathan Taves, and Tanner Lazinski. Uh, so before I finish all this, we got some other ones to think. And so you're really looking at, other than that, you're looking for, once again, the inserts for extended series last year. I love them. I think a lot of them are cool. They had a lot of Easter egg stuff. We had that Apichi 3D that I have of uh, Bone Byram that I pulled last year. Um, I, I've i been on the record. I like extended series other than the not great young gun crop. This is probably going to be, this has more upside with the Holtz, the Turcotte, Seth Jarvis, uh, Paterka. Paterka. Uh, and the other big thing it has is a couple young guns. Um, so we have Mort Cider. He's going to have his canvas in here. Uh, right now, his young gun is selling for $100, $110, They Kind of all range. Uh, probably depends on who you're bu who's buying it, if it's in the States or in Canada type of thing. Uh, but yeah, they're anywhere from, like I said, $9,500 $9, all the way up to $120, I seen. Was the highest one for the last couple of days. Uh, Michael Bunting is going to have a young gun's canvas in a Toronto Maple Leafs uniform. Kind of weird. I don't think I like that. Uh, having a young gun that's going to cross over from last year's extended series and then you're gonna put him in here but in the maple Leafs uniform i don't think i like that that 
eh, that gives me the, the kids I say nowadays gives me the ick. Um, John Leonard, Philip Ronick, Alec Martinez. I think this is for the almost for the Ducks. This is gonna be former Moncton Wildcat Benoit Olivier Olivier Grew. Uh, the Michael Bunting sells for fifteen twenty. It's funny that I'm pulling this right now because he's another one. Uh, he's another Young Guns canvas that got held over. Uh, his Young Guns canvas is also gonna be coming out in extended series. Literally the next name on my list. Can't even make this stuff up. Um, but yeah, former Moncton Wildcat, former Halifax Moosehead Boo. Uh, but he's playing over there. Uh, he's a 3 to $5 young gun. Um, could be a really good mid-six you know, center. Good penalty killer. Does kind of all the stuff you want. Good face-off guy in, uh, in juniors and stuff. So good player for sure. Kind of one of those guys you want to see. We should be getting one more young gun, right? Yeah, one more young gun. We got a patch in this. We got a young gun's canvas. It's pretty good. Uh, and then the last one is uh, Putz Colson uh, for the Vancouver Canucks. He's getting a young gun's canvas also. Um, he's selling pretty good. I know like people are picking him up like crazy. Uh, you see people asking for him all the time on the forums and stuff. Uh, probably a lot of people thinking, A, he plays for a Canadian team, playing for Vancouver. Also, you know, you have Vancouver fans there. Plus, people are just maybe thinking that he has upside because he plays for a Canadian team. All true, 100%. So, but yeah, he's a $15 or $20 card. Uh, here we go. Checklist. Sutter. And it's for the Rangers, I think. Yeah. It's just Niels Lundvis. So, there we go. Our six young guns. See if we can get kind of something cool like a young guns uh, clear cut or maybe high gloss again maybe something like that we'll see if we can get to pull that in the last one but so overall i said i don't know if it's gonna be worth i'm probably gonna grab a couple boxes i'm definitely not buying a case of this stuff um that is for sure um but the cider uh is really probably gonna be the big chase in this for this young guns canvas but obviously you're limiting you know how many chances do you have to pull a young guns canvas they're very rare I know I have one in front of me, but still, that is kind of the, one of the big chases. Along with the bunting, the pots, coals, and like that's two other Young Guns canvases that are pretty good, probably close to the same price as what that Jamie Drysdale is. Uh, Alexander Holtz is kind of probably my top guy. Seventh overall, it's, you know, not drafted that long ago, point per game in the AHL, uh, everything you want. So TJ Oshi, we're going to finish it off. With a Adam Ruzika for the Flames. So we didn't get our Blue Dazzler, which is kind of odd. Um, I'm pretty sure you always get a Blue Dazzler. I don't think I've ever not got a Blue Dazzler, but we got the pink instead. Um, once again, overall, I'm happy. We got the Lucas Raymond. If Once again, if I can see if that's gradable. I think it's a little bit top heavy, so probably not. Um, if you guys are ever wondering about like grading cards too, I have a little segment on the channel. Uh, if you look, go look through the playlist, there's a guide to grading. You can kind of look at some of that stuff. Some of it's a little bit older, but uh, still gives you a little bit of an idea. Uh, it's from last year. I think it was the start of last year. Um, but yeah, anyways, excited for a new product open. I have been very lucky with when it comes to uh, uh, Series 2, though. So hopefully Extended Series can continue with that, um, and we'll go from there. So hopefully everyone enjoys this. Hopefully everyone has a great rest of their, uh, enjoys their weekend, I guess, at this point. And uh, for Eric from the bench, we'll talk to you guys later. Bye, guys.